<laughs> you got two minutes. It's never going to be done. All right, I'm going to start so that we can get over here. I turn the camera on, so if you're sitting next to it, just be nice. <laughs> No, it's right up here, so I guess I should probably get up in front of it. Um, just for the people that couldn't make it, so since we're recording. Uh, welcome. For those of you that are parents, you know kind of how it's been running the last few weeks. They come in, there is the waiver for the kids, so there's session one, which is at 9 o'clock when the worship team's here, and then session two from the back, so we just have to flip it over in between, and it just says that the parents gave their children kind of a well check in the morning to make sure that they are okay, weren't sick, so they certify they're not sick and that they're good to go. Um, and then, so the children are separated into two groups. One room schoolhouse type atmosphere here. We're trying to keep them separate so that it makes it a little easier what papers to hand out because we're still handing them their age appropriate paper. But so the the Adirondack Mountaineers that are usually over here at the little tables, even though if they have a brother or sister, they may be sitting up. Like the blue ones are the early ones. So like Abby is just this age group, but we have her sitting with her sisters so that they're all together because they share. We have these pouches. So they share one pouch for their whole family with the crayons and pencils and things. So it's just one less thing. They're passing back and forth between each other. Uh, before class, we can set those out. These are their assigned seats. So the blue ones are the early session at 9 o'clock, and then the red seats are the ones during the sermon. So sometimes it changes. We have the waiting list for during the sermon. So if someone tells me they're not going to be here, uh, then like Monica did this week. So I already know there's two that aren't going to be here. So then I can let two people know that there's a seat on the train so they can come. So they'll be excited. And there's three, definitely three kids on the waiting list right now. So most of the time they can get right in because really there's three, two or three people that aren't here. So, so there's the attendance sheet instead of the tickets because the tickets were touching, everyone was touching and doing everything back and forth. So we wanted to reduce that. So we went back to the way we used to do <laughs> how we started out doing. So they all have their names on and then they get a check for coming, a check. They bring their Bible with them, the chuck if they know their memory verse. So as they're coming in, you know, just know about and ask them if they know their memory verse and have them show you your homework if they brought their homework back. So then, but it's only set up for the whole month, it's just for the one time, and then during the week I'll take this out and put a new one on for next week. So, yay, we made it. I made it. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. We just started, so. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just going over the attendance sheet. It's going back to how it used to be, like, before we did the tickets. So the first class is on one side, and the other class is on the back side. So there's actually 14 of, like, the worship, during the worship practice, and which is pretty good. And there's 20 exactly, if they all come, for the regular one with three or four on the waiting list. So. Huh? Wow, 20. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Are you doing a shorter memory verse for the youngers, or are they all going through the whole 11 and 12? Um, that's, that was the one they had for the okay. younger group. Yep, yep. Wow. But this one is actually done as of this week. And then they'll get a new one next oh. week, because we're starting a new unit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're starting a new unit. So this was, we debuted this at the staff meeting the other day at the leadership meeting, and during COVID, when no one was really here over the summer, a lot of the children's ministry organizations online did a lot of trainings, and one of the things that they mentioned is that if you didn't have a policy and procedures in place, that now would be a good time, especially if someone, something were to happen because of COVID, or just you know, it's always good to have it anyway. 
So I said, well, yeah, I guess I'll do it. So we put this together and updated it. And some of it is the information that in the regular volunteer packet. So some of that is the same. But it forced me to come up with our own goal for Kids Church. So, of course, the mission statement for Ralph is to be a loving example of the living God for a watching world. And so we fall under that, uh, under the discipleship and evangelism part of our mission statement. And so the goal of Children's ministry is to intentionally teach elementary children about God from a biblically centered worldview, presenting them with the gospel message so that they accept salvation through Jesus Christ and accept and develop a personal and lifelong relationship with their creator. No test. <laughs> it's on paper, so we don't need to know it. But And that's very similar to answers in Genesis. I think it's something very similar in the front of theirs. But since we use a curriculum that just reflected what our values were anyway. Um, so they said a history, it's good to have a history of where you came from. And so we've been for over 28 years doing uh, children's programming. So in one form or another, so that's pretty good. And then the statement of faith is taken from, well, we have the volunteer covenant, which you've all signed. And then they said that it's good to show where it comes from the, con the church constitution. So, of course, we back up that. And if you remember also, which I think, is that right here? I think everybody here is, right? Members, so you all know that part. And just the end. So yeah, if you've taken the extra commitment to become members, you can be teachers as well as assistants. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the teams back active again. I really wanted to just see how this was going to work out before we had them helping. We have had the little Christopher Robles and even Alex. And they kind of sit when Alex, Alex is on the waiting list, Alex Nichols, but he's a young one also their young age for starter starting up so what we've been doing is having like maddie larkin and uh, claire and um we'll get a couple of the other ones i know we asked like i think marissa or mackenzie one of them and um maybe kenzie howard too but if they're here to just sit here with the littlest one so they can kind of keep them on track because it's a big adjustment from the nursery and they're always like, can I play with you? Like, they just want to play. They haven't figured out it's school yet. So, it's kind of like school yet. So, they've been really helpful and really good. And, of course, the little kids love those girls. They're just sweet. Um, so, yeah, most of you know this already. But, uh, since you've already been volunteering for a while, which is awesome, I don't think anything in there is new, but I just had to get it all written out. Oh, the only thing is new is for new volunteers also because we've been growing something. Like before we knew everyone that came in the door and now there's a lot of visitors or people that heard George online. And so besides being in the congregation for six months so that we recognize their face and that we know if they're getting involved with like home groups or you know discipling programs or anything like that um, to make sure that they're committed um, besides me looking over their information and the background check that george does the deacons and elders will also approve because they may know them outside like i may not know who the person is but maybe they might have a questionable or so yeah, this person could be great. So we're just that that's just another added security level that yeah will prove as well. It's just me. Um, and of course these next pages, y'all know, because you've been helping out. This part hasn't changed except what it looks like has changed. And in November, as long as everything goes according to schedule. This room will be blocked up because uh, 
the noise, just like we thought we could drown out the noise of the curtains and everything, and it just didn't really happen. So we're going to, this is going to be a classroom, like right down the black line there is going to be a wall, two closets on both sides, the classroom on that side, and this side will be open, but we'll still put that classroom back over there if we need it. So we have the potential for three classrooms because that class, the older class, was the one that had the most kids, like 20. So it needed, could be broken up into three smaller ones, more age-appropriate so classrooms. Yeah, yeah. George's. Um, well, we're hiring it out, so. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And it'll be nice because, yeah, it'll be more sound proof mm -hmm. and we shouldn't have to yell. And <laughs> there'll be storage, so I can get everything that's in that closet of mine right here, so I don't keep running back for a closet. And, and then they can have that closet for the tables and the chairs and whatever else they need. For the kitchen, right? The kitchen. Quieter too. Huh? Will they pipe the heat right in it so it'll be yeah, quieter? Yeah, they're doing it. Yeah, they're oh, putting the good. heat right in. So. The Mac kicks on. You can't hear. It's like, huh? Yeah. Oh, we'll just kind of get it warmed up, up and then and then turn it off. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> turn up your bell phone. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for telling everybody. <laughs> Down. 
once the first class is done, and then doing the same thing you know, after the, the second class is done. And I made little sheets, and they're on the next page too, but so all of this is written right out, what to do before, when they're coming in, and then what to do after each session, and the little markers right up here, so if you want to, you can check it off. You don't have to, but if you want to. Do you have to wipe it after you spray it, or does it just dissolve on its own or dry on its own? Um, you spray the table, do you have to wipe it too? You don't have to. Okay. You can if you want. It depends on your timing. I think it's supposed to do it the longer you leave it, the more it like, does a better job of disinfecting. But um, I usually don't do that the second time. I usually let it sit, but so far it hasn't been wet after the first time, so it's been, it's been good. Um, all right, and the nursery, yeah, unfortunately, it's still just hard to make a decision on that one for right now until <laughs> even though I know they're doing daycare and stuff at other places. But, all right. It's nice to open the space and the TV's working, so it's yeah. working at least that way. Yeah, the parents can get away if they need to. Yep, and this is just half up there, so... In more detail, you can't run away the camera, so <laughs> we'll see how good that is. Um, I'm just trying to think if that's it. really it. I just really wanted to go through how it looks a little different. The same, I have to come up, I have to figure out, because we used to have the markers in there, but now we don't. So the masks and everything are up at the top in there. So I got a styrofoam cup or something upside down. Well, one of the needles fit in there. Oh, that's a good idea. They used to have a cup in there. Right, but there's stuffy stuff in there. Oh, you just want something in there to fill that hole. Yeah, so they're not. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk about Oh, the noodles. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. two minutes to reply. Right. Don't need to wait. That would be a good idea. Styrofoam cup. That's what she's saying. We just lift up that that plastic piece and just lay something. Slice something. Yeah. 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 Ye
And this is, of course, the one I've been wearing. The assistants that you can, and I have a bunch of these, so if somebody wanted, just because I think when you're teaching, oh, and you can see your mouth, and you can yeah. hear, and I can breathe the whole lot better. Um, if I'm back here and I'm talking, then I don't need it on, but, you know, if you're getting up close and you're helping them with the homework and stuff like that, you want to have something on. But um, the worship team, parents, they're all together on Thursday nights, and they're all, they get together a lot of times outside anyway. None of them are too concerned about it, but um, the bigger group, you know, there could be visitors, there's people of all different kinds of opinions and favors, and that's fine, so we want to stick as close to what we should be doing as possible, so... I was just going to ask. So I'm trying to picture how it's going to look on Sunday. Maybe I missed this first part. So they're all going to come in and not, they're not going to sit on the floor like they usually do. And we're right. Gonna do it yeah, yeah. They all go right to their assigned okay. seats. Yeah. And so the, the parents come in and they sign this. And then, yeah, they come in and you can have this or Connie can have this and you check their attendance and the Bible and then reverse and all that. Okay. And as they're waiting for everyone to get in. Okay. Yeah, most of them know where they sit. The only ones that might not have a spot is if they're on the waiting list. Okay. And then they can just take the spot of whoever it's not. Like, Brooklyn and Faith, I already know, aren't going to be here, and their two spots are right here. Or, yeah. They're, I couldn't find Brooklyn. What happened to hers? I thought she was at the table in red. Maybe the, she's in the middle? <laughs> yeah, it's in the bottom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we had to look at it. It fell down in there. That's where that old thing was. Was it me? I think it was Amanda when she came back and she's like, why is that his mask on me? That, like, like, that's what I was 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 like, Read the procedures. Stop Mason in there. So as soon as all nine seats are filled, then there's no more kids coming in. Yeah. No, right. Yeah. Like if let's just say a bunch of visitors happen to come that day, I can only fill these nine seats. No, we have these white tables too. Right, oh, I missed all that. Yeah, all the red and the blue. And the these seat. are the, the the little ones are the Adirondack Mountaineers for the most part. Who am I teaching on Sunday? Uh, everybody. Well, everybody. Because it's one room schoolhouse. Well, so you probably missed this part. Oh, okay. Yeah, you probably missed this part. So, so I don't know. Uh, first of all, thank you for teaching on Sunday. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'll be, I don't know what I'm doing. Thank you for your answer. No, right. I agree. And. So the, the little ones were trying to keep together. The little ones were trying to keep together so that because they were teaching the same lesson, but they'll have their different homework pages. Okay. So the white tables will be the older class for oh. the most part, except for Addie. She's in the younger one, and Leo is in the younger one. But everybody else in there is older, so that they're sitting with their families. Yeah. And the kids will know. Oh yeah, they're they gonna know. they're gonna school me because yeah, they'll be able. Yeah, I'll be yes. like, what are we supposed to do today, kids? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yeah. The red is the before class. No, the blue, the blue is blue comes the first. blue is the first. Blue, yeah, blue is yeah, right. And the red is oh, so I'll have the blue kids. And who teaches yes. those? Okay. Right. Is there two different separate sets of teachers? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I have a sheet. Here's October's. Let's see. Are there any holes? So yeah, seen there's a team blue teacher. And a team yeah, so this time. is the session <laughs> at 9 o'clock, and then this is the session during the sermon. Team blue. Yeah. So if we do the one at 9 o'clock, does that get us like, does that get us a buy for coming through the sermon? Can we just go home? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think George <laughs> wants you to listen to him. Keith, I just said, oh, if I teach like, the nine o'clock, I won't miss the sermon. Oh, I said it the opposite. I said it. Filled, 
to see how this whole thing was going to go because we didn't know what school opened and what if we were going to shut back down. Yeah, we were going to know what was going to happen. for the people that are on the waiting list and can't get in, or there were a few, like the, we have one family from Rochester that's watching for because their church isn't doing any kids programming. So you can watch me do the lesson beforehand, and then you'll pretty much know oh, exactly oh, what you I do. Totally do that. Oh, yes. You're not going to record me. Yes, no. you can't oh, me for a minute there. Oh, <laughs> you won't have any attorneys the next Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so, be like, oh. The only thing is the one that goes, you know, with the take homework doesn't have a game and stuff built in. But basically the games are at the end, if there's time, you know, okay. that kind of thing. But for the most part it's going through yeah. Going through the lesson. Okay. So, yeah. And we'll just be doing the homework will be towards each age group, the older group and the younger group or the the seat work, but we're just using the written out lesson that's right on the back. And if you've taught the older ones and you haven't taught the younger ones, yes. it's all written right here, what you say. So this that's whole awesome. summer, I've basically just been holding this up to the camera and reading right off the back. Oh, nice. <laughs> so it's very that's easy. Yes, it's oh, very easy. Yeah, so it's yeah. very different yeah. than the package. Yeah. Yes, because you almost have to, yes, you look at yeah. the paper and talking, but this one has, this is what's in your notes. Nice. It's just on the back. Yeah. Yeah. So, Yeah. <laughs> 
Irish kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Like, yeah, I've done it four times and didn't think of it. Oh, <laughs> 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 um, this week, since it's a review, there is one thing, Leah, if you and Connie want to mention it to the kids. And if you have kids in the program and they want to watch at least the opening of the video, they still can, because since it's review at the end of the unit, we did get the puppets out. Cole and Kate helped me film the puppets today, so they're doing the review. We may do that Sunday, but they did, so if the kids like puppets. So Not that puppets are as fun on a screen. You say I'm going to watch the video of the puppet part. Yeah. yeah. Are, there, are we doing that? Because you say that here. Are we doing no. the puppet video? No. Did I? No, it's on, only on the... No, if they want to watch it, they can... They can be all at home. Yes. Oh, 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 yes. gotcha. Okay. Yes. Yep. So, question. Yeah. Sounds like you're going to be doing it. Are you engaging older kids, though? Are they staying engaged? I think so. They, it's sometimes just with this material, Answers in Genesis and a lot of homeschooling, you guys will probably find this out. That's like a level. It's uh, they expect Even a lot, and you know, teaching that older one, just going word for word. There's a lot of big words, and I already scaled it down. Like we're not doing the fifth and sixth or fourth and fifth. It's the second and third grade, and there's big vocabulary, and there's a lot to get through in a half an hour. So, so it's still yeah, them. yeah. They've been they've been pretty good. And how no long one said they're bored, so. <laughs> how long is the class? It's shorter. Um. So, it depends who's talking out there, but George has been trying to stick to, I know Abel's were shorter the other day, but for the most part, it's 40 minutes. So the one that I have on Sunday, the first class goes from 9 to 9.40? 9 to 9. When the worship team gets done with their little prayer and things. Oh, say, no, we've been doing 9.50 because that's what you told me the first yeah. Sunday, but we can 9 50. usually come get them sooner. sooner. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's um, fine. I mean, we can keep yeah. up, you know. So don't the really biggest thing is, we yeah, the are they yeah, have good about that? On the, in the, are they good about that in the first class? Oh, yeah. 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 They're yeah. not taking advantage of the time that you're not going to have time to do the most. Medication might have a great time. Yeah, she's enjoying her cup of coffee out there. I was going to say, they're going to have their chat in a way. I'm not going to be honest on that. Unpack it Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, 
I think it's Jeremiah, and I know there's Jeremiah, and I think it's Esther. Mm-hmm. Mary. So that's going to be great. So there's still a couple more prophets before and then we should be in the New Testament, like by Christmas, which would be fun. Any other questions? Thank you so much. And then, yeah, anything you think of, read through it. See, and then I'd like to be an assist. Yeah. Yeah. Assist things on the, yeah. the second row. Yeah.